just my happy face. <laughs> Why don't we jump in the back? I read a book when I was very young, about uh, 20 years ago, Theodore Roosevelt's uh, African Game Trails short stories. And it just kind of, reading all those stories really made me want to, I, I really want to go do that. That's something I want to go do. So 20 years later, I finally get to make the trip. Just, just stay close to me, okay? And it's been everything that I could, could have ever hoped for out of the trip. It's really magical over here. We saw a very, very good black-faced Impala on the first day, and he was, he was not on our list. However, when we, we looked him over and we saw a big abscess on his side, and we're like, and he just, he didn't look well, but he, he wasn't really on one of our lists, so we, we kind of hesitated a little bit, and we said, well, we're gonna pass on that for now. He's the one on the left in the back, okay? But wait for him to turn better. Wait for him. Wait for him to clear more. Reload your rifle. <laughs> Let's walk over to the biggest impala ever. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> but keep your barrel. Uh, yep. Keep your barrel hot. We found a, a huge impala yesterday with a, um, with a bit of a, um, an abscess in his stomach. And we were still deciding whether to shoot it or not. Um, last night we made the decision. This morning we executed the decision. And we made a perfect stock. Um, it's in a nice valley between the dunes. It is a monster impala. Very, very good shot. and. Congratulations. Excellent, yes. I'm very, very pleased with the Impala. And I hope I don't ever have to try and get one bigger. <laughs> <laughs>